week, we could start doing CAD designs. We're not expecting the money to be here yet. And then we could do prototyping. Um, then by week seven, which is when the exams are, we want to have the drivetrain and then whatever we're doing for manipulation with the tennis balls done so that by week eight, we could start to assemble. And then by week 10, we would be able to debug and then start actual drive testing. So that's our tentative schedule. Obviously, it's very skeletoned out. We don't have specifics. But hopefully, if we say to that, we talk to uh, the networking, and that should work with them. So I'll let these guys talk about the designs that they talked about. All right, well, we're the tennis ball against the manipulation team. And basically, what we ended up creating was a system on the bottom, which is the brush and the brush and ball back to a virtual conveyor, which takes the balls up and does the core monitor and then shoots them out. We're using essentially two wheels. I mean, we've got a little uh, cat drawing here with a shooter could possibly look like. Right. Ever seen a tennis ball shooter? It's uh, just a scaled down version of that because you know it just makes sense and it's something that's already tried in practice. And also, it should be if we can do it properly and off, based off of one motor, <coughs> it'll, it'll be accurate and you'll have um, it'll be it'll be accurate over like a few weeks ago because it, it should be pretty uh, repetitive. We'll be shooting tennis balls into uh, targets over and over again, so it'll be repetitive and constant. And Calculations should be pretty easy to actually like, predict where it's going to go. Um, that was just one of our ideas. I wish I could show you the model. Maybe I could email it to someone. I have solid work on the other one. Try all the four. Hey, good boy. Six robots that are interacting with our yeah. drive robot. 
Yeah, and it's a big field too. Yeah, so I'm anticipating a lot less uh, collision. Yeah. If I could interject for a second, um, there was discussion that I found on the first Forge site about possibly having two robots per team and two teams per line. So that would be four versus four. Right, that, that's what, what I've been reading. Right. Instead of the normal three versus three. Two. So. You could also do two traction and two omni. Right. But that, that's what we're